Hello, it's Monday. Today we'll be making some breakfast for dinners. Or breakfast for breakfast is whatever you like because you know, people like the breakfast for suppers, I know I do. You might not, you might think I'm a weirdo, in which case I think you're like a weirdo and shit. So, like, let's do this. Breakfast for supper, French toast sandwich. Yeah! Okay, you're going to need a pair of eggs. You're also going to need some milk. I like to use 2%. You can also use 1% and a homogenized milk. And I guess you can use cream, too? You'll also have to use cinnamon. I have a genie jar full of it. Uh, more cinnamon than anybody needs in a single lifetime, but I have it. You'll also need two slices of bread. This is going to be a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, so I have a Kraft Smooth Creme peanut butter. I also have a Schumacher's Pure Wild Bear Jam. I can't read the French. Confiture au fruit de champs. It's jam for champions. And then I also have some butter for the bottom of the pan. Uh, in case you're allergic to like peanut butters and shit like that, it gives you hives. Or you, you die. You can also use a fun cheese plastic spread called Cheese Whiz. It's very good. I like to use it on like toast and pretty much everything that is like sandwich related. Now I've gone ahead and I've cracked the two eggs and put them into the bowl because believe it or not I'm actually not a chef and I can't crack the eggs with one hand. Uh, I haven't, I know this will shock some people, but I haven't done any formal cooking training since I was in the 8th grade. So now I've added my two eggs, now I'm going to add a bit of milk. You don't need much, that's plenty. Now I gotta open the genie jar to get it done one second. Well, I dropped the camera. Okay. So now I have this cinnamon open and it smells wonderful, so we're going to just take like a spoonful of it. And, oh, and I got some on the counter, always making a mess on the show. Okay, so now we're going to put the lid back on the genie jar. <laughs> Smells so good. Alright, uh, then you take a fork, and you're just going to beat it all together. I think I may have too much cinnamon. Whip it. Whip it good. Come on, whip it! I like to whip my French toast. The French toast is good. I like to whip my French toast like French toast should. Uh, the cinnamon is not going inside. This is indeed disturbing results. I should have waited. Mix in. Don't just sit on top like a cinnamon skin. Oh, here we go. Get in there. Whip it good. I think I may have put in a little too much cinnamon, but we'll make it work. I'll eat it anyways. But, uh, yeah, so you want it to be just all whipped together, nicely like that. Once your cinnamon, egg, and milk mixture is all finished, you're going to want to take a slice of bread and just soak it. Soak it right in, let it get in there. This is definitely too much cinnamon. You're going to want to coat the bread evenly and all the way through. Uh, and then when your pan is ready, you just put it in the pan. Now my pan is ready, so I got my toast into the pan and you can hear it sizzling already. So you let it cook on just a few minutes, and then you flip it, let it cook on a few more minutes, 
and then you can take it off the pan. Okay, so the French toast is done. It's ready to be spatulaed onto the plate. Uh, this not burnt. It's all cinnamon. I'm pretty sure I used. This smells amazing. So now we're going to put on some peanut butter. Just get it up, get it on there. Peanut butter, so good. I like peanut butter. And I'll put it on both sides because I don't like it that much. Then you take a spoon and you grab your jelly. And you put your jelly on your sandwich. And then you lick your spoon. Oh yeah, jelly. And smother it around. And then you lick your knife. Just kidding. Put your French toast on there. And it's a sandwich. And it's a French toast sandwich. Uh, if you're American, it's a freedom, freedom toast sandwich. Either way, it looks good. So, that's it for another wonderful week of Let's Cook the Foods. We'll see you next Monday. I have my breakfast and a supper meal here. Um, and you're following along, you could be making it yourself. Uh, send me pictures of your foods, I'll put them on the Facebooks for you, and the whole world can share it. Uh, maybe follow on the Twitters, cause that's fun, and uh, I have Instagrams as well, links is all in the description below. And, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, uh, watch it with your hamster, and, um, yeah, see you next week. Bye bye Please like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah.